Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. Before the get into the video, uh, I want to show you that uh, I am making some exam preparation videos. So if you want to join in this, with just click on join button here. and go to members only videos that is 89 rupees pack or 119 rupees pack anything is okay so select this 89 per month pack and click here join then you will get exclusive access to the our members only videos so i have already prepared some videos here so if you want to join this you can please comment in the comment section so that you can ask the subject you want and if it is okay then we can do the exam preparation videos for the courses you have asked us if these subjects are in your semester then please try to gather your classmates also in order to encourage the uploading of the questions i will provide nearly 300 to 400 mcqs so it will be easy for your exam preparation it will boost your grade so before joining once comment in the comment section the exam that you uh, the exam for which you want so if it if it is liable then we can do that preparation videos so let's get into our assignment so this is week 7 assignment of data analytics using python code guys please watch the video till the end if i change any answer in between you cannot you can be able to note that if you only watch full video so i hope every solution is 100 percent correct but if you want to suggest me any changes you can do that in the comment section if i find any changes i will update in the comment section so before the final submission once again visit the comment section so first question in a regression analysis the error term is a random variable with a mean or expected value of so the answer for first question is first option zero Moving on to the second question. If the coefficient of determination is a positive value, then the coefficient of correlation is. So we already know that. R square is determination. Where plus or minus root r is the correlation if it is a positive value then it will be either positive or negative so mark third option and moving on to the third question the interval estimate of the mean value of y for a given value of x is so for third question the correct answer is second option confidence interval estimate so mark second option as correct one and moving on to the fourth question larger values of r square imply that the observations are more closely grouped about the So for fourth question, the correct answer is third option, least squares line. So mark the third option as correct answer for fourth question. Moving on to the fifth one. In a regression analysis, the coefficient of determination, that means R square is 0.4225. So they are asking the coefficient of correlation r value so it means plus or minus root 0.4225 so it will be plus or minus 0.65 here it will be plus or minus root r that means 0. Point mean 0 root square root r square so it will be square root of 0 0.4225 that it will be 
plus or minus 0 0.65 that is first option moving on to the sixth question in a regression and correlation analysis if r square is equals 1 then what is the value of SSE? We know that R square equal 1 minus SSE by SSR, right? So the value is 1. So 1, 1 will be cancelled and it, the value will be equal to 0. This value will be 0. So when cross multiplication, SSC becomes 0. So the answer is second option. SSC must be equal to 0. Moving on to seventh one. If the coefficient of correlation R equals 0 0.8, the percent percentage of variation in the dependent variable explained by the variation in the independent variable is. So for this the answer is fourth option 64 percent and moving on to the eighth question if the coefficient of determination is equal to 1 then the coefficient of correlation is so we have already told plus or minus root 1 that means can be either plus 1 or minus 1 that is second option So mark option 2. Moving on to the 8th one, sorry, ninth one. If all the points of a scatter diagram lie on the least squares regression line, then the coefficient of determination for these variables based on this data is. So for ninth question, the answer is second option 1. So mark second option. Moving on to the final question. 10th question a simple linear regression equation y is equals mx plus c will always pass through the point we know that it always pass through origin that means 0 comma 0 so friends these are the solutions regarding week 7 data analytics assignment hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends so guys as i said above if you need any exam preparation video regarding any subject you can please comment in the comment section i have already made videos on cloud computing iot etc if you want any subject and there is a strong requirement then we can make the videos so if you want to join please recommend this to the other others also and give the co your comment in the comment section so we can discuss regarding uploading of that subject videos so guys until the next video Goodbye. Keep supporting us like this. Thank you.